What's poppin' everybody? This is Sable Fighting 4. Today I'm gonna show you guys one of my ways to build Arcalodon EX in the standard format. Uh, this card is uh, incredibly strong, very straightforward. Stage 1 Pokemon with 300 HP, as good as you can ask for. Standard bottom stats too, the grass resistance is actually gonna be very useful against Ogre Pond and other grass Pokemon that are kind of popular. And really the heart and soul of uh, this deck and what makes this card so good is the Assemble Alloy or Assemble Alloy uh, ability. Pardon my English. But basically, similar to Charizard and similar to other self sufficient Pokemon, you evolve into this card and you can just grab two metal energies from the Discopal, attach them to your metal Pokemon any way you like. So you can put uh, one energy on this guy, two energy, uh, spread them around another metal Pokemon. It's got to be metal Pokemon, so. It's somewhat balanced in this sense, but it's still extremely strong. It's 3 energy attack, metal defender, does 220 for 3, so this is pretty much a guaranteed 2 hit KO on any EX Pokemon stage 2 you can think of. And it can one shot the smaller guys too, like a basic EX or something. And it also removes our weakness, which could be handy as well. Um, good stuff, but there's even more cool tricks you can do with this guy. Uh, combining this with the Duralodon from the first, I think, Scarlet and Violet set, or one of the earlier ones, uh, Rage and Hammer, 80 damage plus 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. If we can use this attack, it means if they hit this guy and don't kill him, let's say they do like 250 damage on him or something, then all of a sudden we can hit for like uh, 3, 330, 340, you know, you can do crazy damage with this sort of Outrage combo. It's been around since uh, Gen 2, you could say. Uh, memory Berry, Meteor Falls, you know, all these sort of ways to copy your pre-evolutions attack. Uh, we can make this happen with this Relicanth. Uh, memory Dive. This might actually be the only Relicanth like I ever used, like an actually good Relicanth card. We, have other, we had other prints that were trying to be like good, like um, Relicanths that would help you with fossils and stuff, but they never did much. I suppose the one in Supreme Victors was good, sniping around. Uh, but this one, with the ability, it's going to serve us in this deck for sure. Okay. Now, because this deck is very self-sufficient, you don't, you don't really need much. Uh, you just need a ways to discard metal energies, have this guy as your attacker, maybe a few regular Pokemon like the Zacian to hit, wall Pokemon like Mimikyu if they come up, and you basically got a deck. But I decided to sacrifice consistency and partner this guy up with this Gastrodon here. This is one of my favorite cards from the newest set because it's going to shut down a lot of annoying stuff. With Sticky Bind, as long as uh, Gastrodon is on your bench, bench stage 2 Pokemon don't have abilities. Now this, this negates regular stage 2s, but more, more importantly it's going to negate EX stage 2s. So... Things like Pidgeot EX are going to be completely shut down. Dusknoor is great too. So it means that if I get this out, even if they're running Dusknoor, I'm safe. It's pretty much going to be negated. Now, you have to be on the bench for this to work. So if they pull him active, then it doesn't work. So it's balanced out a little bit. Now, if we have two of them on the field, then it's not going to matter. But a lot of the times, you won't want to have two or you won't be able to. But these are just very specific situations. Like if you got this guy on the bench, he's going to put in some work against the Pidgeot. Now, they got to be on the bench too. So if they evolve into the active, like Pidgeot or Charizard, they're still going to get their abilities off. But it helps. I mean, it's going to shut down a lot, give your opponent some headaches. So this is a great card you can put in like Palkia. I might do like a Palkia V-Star deck with this as well. Just partner it up with a lot of self-sufficient Pokemon since it's just a stage one. And I'm trying it out with this Arcaludon. Man, it should have been just Arcaludon instead of Arca... Or, wait, yeah, there is only one A in the name. Anyway. So that's what this deck is about. Uh, the Zacian is just a nice little basic Pokemon. If I open with this, 30 for 1, grab a Metal Energy. It can help, kind of like the old uh, Evil Tall. Brave Blade, 130 for 3. Next turn, this Pokemon can attack. Just kind of like an opening Pokemon, something to maybe, if we play against the Mimikyu, it can be an out. I mean, I, I got this guy too, but 
at the end of the day, it's just another basic Pokemon so that I can have at least uh, 10, 11, you could say. I mean, we got, yeah, uh, four with uh, Duraludon, two with the Shellos, uh, two with the Relicant, so that's like, what, eight, uh, nine, ten with the Greninja and Zacian. So that's sort of my minimum most of the time. Uh, Greninja is self-explanatory too. Discard the metal energy to draw cards. Broken ass card. I mean, in ways it's gonna hurt a lot of decks when it goes away, but maybe it's about time because it's just too broken. Anyway, as long as it's around, we're gonna use it in this Yu-Gi-Oh ass decks. Uh, gotta run the two Shell Losses, of course, for the Gastrodon. I'm using these ones from, I think it's the... Lost, Lost Origin set, yeah, this little logo here. Um, yellow Border, gonna be missing those two when the rotation happens. We're just gonna be having these uh, new ass Silver Borders and Pokemon. Anyway, now there's a bunch of Duraludons, of course, you can choose from, but this is the best one in all respects. 130 HP, Hammer in, 30 for one if you have to open with it, so you can do something, and then the Rage and Hammer combo with this guy. Okay, perfect. Now, for trainers, um, I got a bunch of standard stuff. I do want to say that, you know, because we run Gastrodon and Shalas, because we run these sorts of techs, it eats up space for some other standard cards that you can use to help this guy, like uh, the chest plate tool, or I think there's one tool that it's going to decrease damage, so it helps this guy tank better. Okay, that's one. You can use supporter cards like the Professor Dude to scoop this guy up in hand heal that way you know these kinds of cards help this guy out but i sort of don't have the space to have them because of gastrodon so we're making that exchange um another way you can build this deck is instead of gastrodon you can use river of room for consistency discard metal energies draw cards it's also a metal pokemon so you could power it up maybe and you know your deck is more consistent that way uh, that guy, he also doesn't care about Duskmore much because it has 140 HP. But obviously with this, we can shut down Charizard, Pidgeot, a bunch of other good stuff. Okay. Okay, so trainer cards. Max out the Nest Ball, get our basic Pokemon. Got the one Pofin for the Shellosses. Uh, this guy has 130, so, you know, you can only use like Nest Ball to get him or Ultra Ball. Cards like that. Shellos for the Pofin. That's about it. Um, I got one Earthen Vessel, so discard, grab energies, uh, maybe it would make sense to have more of these around, but I don't really got the space to be honest, and uh, in the beginning I didn't even have this, like I had, I had Trekking Shoes maxed out, and I dropped one in the end to put this in for, I guess maybe better consistency, search a card for energies, guaranteed discard outlet of energies, so probably better so there's that uh, the three trekking shoes item based draw pretty good and then four ultra ball heavy duty discord outlet and a guaranteed way to get arcalodon and gastrodon so pretty good um even even though this deck you know the way i have it with gastrodon won't be as consistent you can have some maybe breaking troubles every now and then as long as you got the energies in the discord pile and you can have this Get the evolution. This guy is very self-sufficient. So even if you don't get a full setup, you can get him out and still attack. That's the thing. Okay. Uh, what else for item cards? We got the switches too. Uh, we need two of these for Gastrodon in case it gets stuck through the tree. It's going to be really bad. And I can't attach energies with this guy's effect to move it out of the way like that. So we need this out. And maybe to just switch this guy too. Um, I mean, you probably won't mind losing energies if you want to attack with them again, but, you know, switches can be handy. This guy's got a big retreat too. Uh, Relincath, it doesn't, but so that we don't lose that attachment, I suppose. You know, switch is useful, so I do two of that. And the ace pick of choice is also going to be the scoop up cyclone. It makes perfect sense in this deck, in, in my head. Just get that auto heal, put the... Our colors on back in hand, and we can reuse the ability that way too. So it's just too many benefits, too many pluses, uh, making this the best A spec choice here. Now, like I've said, 
This would have been even more effective if you had more ways to block damage instead of just uh, the stadium here. But it should still be pretty good. A lot of the times they're just going to hit him and they're still not going to kill him with 300 HP. So we can just negate that damage, put him back in hand, and it's the same idea. You know, obviously the Professor and other cards would help. But you don't necessarily need them. It's just even more tanking on top of the tanking we can do. Okay. Uh, stadium of choice, as I briefly touched upon, is this full metal lab. Uh, block 30 less damage from metal on metal Pokemon. So it's going to be pretty good. I mean, it's going to help out Zacian a little bit too. Even this uh, basic Duraludon might take a shot. You never know. With the grass resistance, at least you know Ogre Pond can kill these guys. So, that's pretty good. I mean, it should have been like this 130 HP should have been the case in all regular ass basic Pokemon like this Shellos too. 120, 130. But how many times am I going to say that? And then what else? Did I miss anything else? I think that's all the items. Standard stuff. Supporters are also going to be sort of standard. I got the uh, four your nose, shuffle draw, disruption. Got double youngster, shuffle draw, uh, the second best thing, I guess, that's consistent. I got one uh, juniper. Don't really want to run too many of this because uh, we can't go overboard discarding our evolutions, but because we're in a stage one deck, it might be easier to evolve into your guys and then you don't got to worry about having that with a rare candy. So you can use this and discard some stuff. Discard energies too. Uh, the one Irida, get the Greninja, get an item, always handy. Uh, Cynthia, when one of our guys dies, get that draw plus. Barry, just straight draw, no real drawbacks, but not big benefits either. And uh, I got the Zisu as well as my copycat of copycat. And I also got the Serena as well. So this is pretty good because it's another draw supporter similar to all the draw you have five options we got but you can discard up to three cards and i can use this to discard energies again or just useless stuff so it's pretty good and the switching effect even though it's not going to be as common as back in the day it could still come up i mean you could pull up a random road to v or luminian get two easy prizes the final touch to win you never know it could be like an additional boss's orders since we already got one of this guy. And I think that's it too. Not much else to add, right? I didn't miss anything. Straightforward deck. I mean, your consistency cards, your tech cards. Uh, I do do the double of Relicanth just in case one is prized or one dies. Extra basic too. But when we got one of this down, and uh, depending on what your opponent, how, what your opponent is using, their attacks... They're getting one hit KOs on us with Raging Bolt. That's pretty bad. He won't be that good. So, yeah. And then last piece, energies. 13 metal of them. Manual attachments. Enough to discard with Greninja. Should be pretty good. And this is my Arcaludon. Arcaludon deck. Uh, yeah, Arcaludon. Arcaludomon. Digimon style here. Yeah, this guy is pretty similar to something like that. So that is the deck. I'm going to show you guys matches. Hope you guys enjoy the deck profile. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share the video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What a...